Hello everybody and what is going on? So today we are getting around to a very exciting episode of Trip to the Thrift. For those of you who don't know what Trip to the Thrift is, it's basically me taking a trip to the thrift. Mud. So this week I hit up about three towns. We spent under 50 pounds for all of these items of clothing, but today's haul isn't exactly my strongest. This isn't we found Burberry at the thrift store. This isn't we found Supreme at the thrift store. Alexa, this is so sad. Can we dead this meme? But we did manage to get some nice sick off vintage t-shirts that I quite like. And we also got some cozy boy jackets as well. Mad. Also, if you're interested in any of these items featured in today's video, this entire video is basically a Depop ad advertisement for Rooks and Rivals and there is a link for that page in the description down below. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the first item of the day. Reebok Cozy Boy Jacket. Look how cozy it is. It's tiny. I think this is like a junior small. This is how small it is like. Let's just try it on just for the sake of it like. So there you go. I can confirm that I am not a small boy. Big man team confirmed. Now I can add try on hauls to the tags. So I would say that this jacket is a size extra small. Nothing really much to say about this jacket. It's just a nice navy jacket. Plain and simple. You've got your Reebok logo at the front there doing bits, low key. Not really much going on in the inside of this jacket. Don't worry, I checked. Quick close up of the jacket. There it is, Reebok logo at the front there. I think it comes with a packable hood as well. Let's just check that out and never be able to get that back in again. So here's the hood with your extra small jacket, little hoodlum. So here it is, the Reebok jacket, mad. Moving on to the next item, big off Adidas jacket. This has to be a size XL, come on, this is mad. What size are you fam? A 42 to 44, that is a large if I've ever seen one. Let's try this on quickly, just for bounce. Who uses the word bounce? Am I lad Bible? No, 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 no man. Extra large vintage Adidas jacket. Baggy boys confirmed. Zip up the ting in your big jacket. Now you look like a big puffer fish. I kind of feel a bit like Alex Ferguson, but it's calm, it's a sick off jacket. It runs. Nice little details on the sleeve here. Just look at it. Breathable holes. Same on the other side as well. You got a couple of like paint stains there, but that's absolutely fine. Don't watch that. Big stripe at the front here for various fashion reasons. Back of the jacket. More stripes, side stripes. Inside of the jacket, you've got some nice quilt going on. Look at that quality stitching. Mad, JVC, hire me, innit? Or was it JML? Here's the jacket without me inside it. Looking very, very nice. Very baggy boys, cozy boys, you're done though. Quick close up of the jacket. All the business is happening at the front. Sick off Adidas logo doing its bits. I absolutely love the sides of these. The strengths lie in the sleeves. But here it is, the big off Adidas jacket. Doing the absolute most. Detail on the collar there, it's mad, it's mad, it's mad. The Adidas jacket. Moving on to the next item. The Yves Saint Laurent button up shirt. You've got some nice little stripes going down. What would you call that? Purple, red? Argue in the comment section down below. Get that algorithm going. I don't know if you can see there, but we've got a teeny YSO logo there. And you may think that these are some big off cuffs, but actually no, you're meant to get cuff links. A very sophisticated shirt, if I do say so myself. Quick close up of the shirt. I don't know if you can see the little logo on the pocket there, but there's a close up of the stripes of the shirt. Button, 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 button. Yves Saint Laurent label. All in all, a very wavy dress shirt. So hold tight, the only shirt I found worth picking up in three times. Pounds. Mad, not salty at all. And the next item that we've got, vintage Tommy Hilfiger. Now, I hardly ever see vintage Tommy Hilfiger. When I started thrifting in 2015, it used to be all over the place. You couldn't avoid it. But nowadays, because vintage has become more and more popular, vintage Tommy is nearly impossible to find, for me anyway. So this was a really interesting find and I'm really happy to see an OG brand pop up again. So here we have a vintage yellow Tommy Hilfiger fleece jumper, I would say. Subtle Tommy flag on the front there. Yellow up and down, like what? what is this? SpongeBob SquarePants, ah ha ha ha, mad. Whatever, quick close up, tiny logo. You've got the nice little V-neck going on, but wait, let's check out the back. What's that, a Tommy Hilfiger tag? I absolutely love the yellow in this, but here it is, some vintage Tommy Hilfiger. I'm glad to see the vintage again. Look at that label, boom, vintage confirmed. Hold tight, the vintage Tommy Hilfiger. Mountain t-shirt. Now, I'm gonna just let you take in this t-shirt for a second. It's not a yellow t-shirt, no, it is a block of cheese. How do you know that it's a block of cheese? It just could be like 
you know, a SpongeBob thing. No, there's a mouse down here. Look, boom. This t-shirt means serious business. Wear this to London Fashion Week. You have won. Everyone is talking about it. But flipping, check out the t-shirt, close up. You can check out these little cheese holes or whatever you want to call them. Boom, boom, boom. Oh wait, there's a rat down there in the corner. Oh my days, come on. You cannot find this in Dover Street Market. You cannot find this in Gucci. You cannot find this anywhere else but the thrift stores or probably the brand that this is from, which is the Mountain, so mad thing there. It's mad, it's mad, it's mad on so many levels. So hold tight, the cheese t-shirt. Moving on to the next t-shirt. Vintage Reebok Polo. How do I know it's vintage? Just look at those vintage designs. Look at the old vintage label, look at the old there is no label, what's going on? That's how vintage it is. I love seeing vintage polos like this, especially ones like this where they just splash on color, put some funky abstract design on it and just put a bit of branding at the side there just to let you know that Reebok supports this message of abstract art, mad museum of modern art, hit it up. And just in case you didn't get the message at the front, they've done the same design on the back so you know that double take, oh no, I missed the design as he was walking past me. No, 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 they've got you covered. Bang, on the back. Second chance maneuvers. Flex at the front, flex at the back, doing the absolute most. Quick close up of this polo, mad polo collar, design at the front and on the back, you've got the same design but uninterrupted. Mad ting. Moving on to the next shirt. It's a fish fam. It's a small fish at the front. What does it even mean? I don't know. Look at the back. It's a bigger fish. Small fish. Big fish. Small fish. Big fish. So here we have a fish t-shirt. The signature says flying fisherman, but here it is, small fish at the front and on the back you've got the bigger version of that fish but with the word snook on it. I have no idea. Is that a fisherman thing? Let me know. I like the actual fit of the shirt. It's quite big and boxy. It's a very clean shirt as well. I absolutely love the design here. I mean, it's a fish. I get it. And of course, big fish at the back there, letting everyone know what you're really about. Mad. Sick off. It's sick off. It can't be done. Next t-shirt. Star Wars episode one t-shirt. Now, I think there was some kind of like experience tour because this isn't the Phantom Menace, this is the power of myth. But look at these funky characters. You've got R2D2, you've got Darth Maul, you've got Qui-Gon Jim, you've got whoever that guy is. I have no idea, I haven't seen you before. I'm not entirely clued up on my Star Wars, but they're all there, all these characters. There's an absence of Jar Jar Binks though, so you know, I'm gonna have to give it minus points for that. But overall, a very strong t-shirt. Here is the back of the shirt, just showing you where they did their European tour. Dublin, Manchester, London, Copenhagen. You know, you get the point. 1999 as well, so it counts as vintage, mad. Star Wars memorabilia is always a nice thing to have in my personal opinion. So hold tight, the Star Wars t-shirt. So, from Star Wars to Star Trek. OG original series. Captain Kirk and the Enterprise. I am not a nerd, I swear. 1993 OG Enterprise as well. I'll be honest with you, I grew up on next gen. Captain Picard could kick Kirk's ass, just saying. Fight me in the comment section. Quick close up of the Star Trek t-shirt. That's pretty much it. The Enterprise looking cool AF. Floating around in space. Follow the adventures of Captain Kirk. But hold tight, this Star Trek t-shirt. Mad. Clock. Work. Orange t-shirt. Now, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea where this came from. I don't know if it's vintage or not, but it doesn't matter. This is an iconic t-shirt. Stanley Kubrick's Clockwork Orange, truly an iconic shirt, just because I remember seeing this everywhere when I was a kid. It was already a classic when I was growing up, so seeing it again in t-shirt form, it's mad. It's mad. It cannot be top. Quick close-up of this t-shirt, doing the absolute most. I absolutely love it, but here it is in all of its glory, so big up this t-shirt. Mad. So I've saved the most controversial t-shirt till last. We've got an A6 football t-shirt. What is the team? It is Newcastle United. So a quick rundown of the shirt. A sick off design, sick off colour. You've got that nice little blue with these little paint marks, which is intentional by the way, it's mad. You've got the A6 logo so you know who supported the team. You've got the Newcastle United logo so you know what team it is. I don't know. And you've got a big Ewan's Lager logo. It's a nice vintage football t-shirt. So let's have a close up of it in all of its glory. 
bang, all of these logos, the ASICs, Newcastle United, and of course the beer ting. Nice little paint design all the way through. It's like on the back as well, absolutely mad. It's a nice color too. You've got the nice little black collar and in really good condition for a vintage t-shirt as well. Like, it, it does bits, it does bits, it's mad, it's mad. So hold tight, this Newcastle United t-shirt. And that is everything that I have to show you for this episode of Trip to the Thrift. Now, personally, I know that this isn't my strongest haul of all time, but every time I do talk about thrifting, I do like to mention that sometimes you're gonna get a massive hit, sometimes you're gonna have a massive miss and just not get anything at all and some are just gonna be uneventful. I think this was an okay haul, it could have been better. Let me know in the comment section down below which one of these items was your favorite. Personally, I absolutely love the Clockwork Orange shirt, I love the details of the Newcastle shirt, and of course the cheese t-shirt is just, I mean, that's just like a joke thing, it's mad. Also, let me know in the comment section down below what you've been thrifting recently. I know in the last episode of Trip to the Thrift, I said that I would showcase some of your thrift finds and here they are. And that is actually where I'm going to end today's video. So, if you like this video, then you can give it a nice little like. If you want to subscribe and see more of what I do, because I do a lot of fashion-based stuff, lifestyle-based stuff, and style-based stuff, then you can by using a subscribe button that can be located anywhere on this web page here. Share this video with your friends, Waffle Gang Gang, Cozy Boys, you're done though. And now, that is everything. Bye.